Welcome to section two. If you haven't already seen the introduction, then this part of the revision course covers the biology section. Okay, so let's get straight into it. Let's start off by looking at cells. So what is a cell? Well, a cell is the smallest unit of life. Some organisms, such as amoeba, consist of a single cell. Now, there are two types of cell. The first type is an animal cell. An animal cell consists of a nucleus, a cell membrane and cytoplasm. In contrast, a plant cell consists of a cell wall, a cell membrane, a nucleus, chloroplasts, cytoplasm and sac vacuole. Every cell is controlled by the nucleus of the cell. The nucleus of the cell is enclosed by a membrane that is a semi-fluid cytoplasm. So what's the function of cells in living organisms? Well, each type of cell has a specific function. For example, red blood cells carry oxygen, while white blood cells fight off germs and disease. Diffusion is a time-dependent process that involves the movement of molecules from a high concentration to low concentration. Diffusion only takes place in gases and liquids and not in solids. Diffusion is made possible by molecules that have kinetic energy and are able to move randomly in all directions. To illustrate the principle of diffusion, think of being able to smell food as it's being cooked. As the food is being cooked, the molecules in the kitchen by diffusion are able to move out of the kitchen and into other rooms. Osmosis is the movement of just water molecules through the cell membrane. The water molecules move from a lower concentrated solution to a higher concentrated solution through a partially permeable membrane. Osmosis is very important in root hair cells. The cell membrane is selectively permeable. This means it controls the amount of water that it lets in. The water in the surrounding soil is a less concentrated solution. The cell sap is a more concentrated solution. This is why osmosis takes place as the water moves from a lower concentration to a higher concentration. Okay, time for the first in the round of end of section quizzes.